This is Us Hotel. Good morning guys, welcome back to Tirana, Albania. Check it out, this is the Airbnb we've been staying in for the past few days. And I'm sad to say that we're leaving already. I, I did that video, the last video, about the first impressions of Tirana. And the truth is that I really, really like it here. We've been here for a few days already. This is the second Airbnb I've stayed in. But I haven't really had a chance to make a lot of content about Tirana because I have had to do the whole work thing and I've been sat just about there on the laptop for the last two days. So unfortunately, I won't get to show you much more of Tirana because we're leaving right now and heading to a place called Skoda in the north of Albania. What I can say though is that I'm going to come back to Tirana for sure. Anyway, moving on swiftly, let's go to Skoda. What do you think of Tirana? I love Tirana. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the best city. It's energetic, young, friendly and so much to see. I'm and coming back. You said you, yeah, you said you could live here. Oh, without a doubt. 23 yeah. years later I'm back here and I actually feel like I live here now. So that's a huge difference in 23 years. Yeah, I'm looking at coming back. But next stop, Skoda. We have just arrived at the local bus station where we're getting the bus to Skoda from. It's actually right opposite the international bus station that we came in. It should only be an hour and a half journey and it's right on the border of Montenegro which will be our next stop after it. So it's sort of a nice route going up the coast and then into Montenegro, we hope. Fingers crossed. The last bus journey was like eight hours when it should have been about three, so hopefully this one's a bit punchier. So we're there, and we are almost there. All right, we are here in Skorjva. It's actually very easy. We just got like, it was only an hour and a half for the whole bus the whole way here. I imagine Skodra, I don't know if I'm saying it right, is the same way Sean Connery would pronounce a Skoda. Skodra. I don't know. We're actually very close. Our hotel is only about a two or three minute walk from here, I think. Here's our bus. Hi, hey, bus. This is us. Hotel. Oh. Hi. Yeah, we're checking in for one night. Not bad, eh? Nice. £13 pound a night. That'll do. And. Oh, sorry. And we have a little bit of a view, too. This is Skoldura. Skoldura. Cheers. No, I'll take this one. Yeah, that. <laughs> Ice cream head. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is one of the nice things about Albania so far. Ice cream everywhere is about 25 30 cents for proper gelato. Delicious. Mm. Yeah, very good actually. Wow, this seems like a very interesting little border town. <laughs> Nicest border town I've ever been to, that's for sure. Um, I, uh, I had no idea what to expect, never heard of it before even. We just looked at the map yesterday and decided to come here. But yeah, what a nice area. It's just really pretty walking street so far. So I looked it up and this is known as the cultural capital, or the cultural center of Albania. Got lots of old buildings. It has this walking street, which we didn't really expect. We just searched for a, a place yesterday that was sort of on the way to Montenegro, and this came up. I'm sure you can hear, but the World Cup's on behind me. It's Sweden, Switzerland right now, and then tonight it's England, Colombia, which we're sort of just scouting out a place to watch it in tonight. Again, you guys will be watching this, you know what happens. We don't know what happens yet. I think so far I could be spending more time in Albania in the yeah, future. Yeah, without a doubt. And this is an amazing place. Look at this. Alright, we decided to watch the game. Where do you think these guys are from? I 
got to be honest, we've been doing a lot more of this, watching the football on this trip rather than going exploring, but it is the World Cup and Albania are football mad. So, what can you do, right? And a bit more of this as well, because it's catching up with my mum. Cheers! The TV cameras have turned up in Swedish. <laughs> Might be distracted for a lot of the interview. <laughs> I just said if someone comes up to me when the England game's on later and says you want an interview, like, after the game. <laughs> no way. Wow, Sweden the first. <laughs> Next up, England. Quick pre-match meal with my mama. One thing that people told me about Albania once I told them I was coming is that you can get really good Italian food here for a fraction of the price of Italy. Because apparently, well it's very close to Italy anyway, it's just across the water, but apparently a lot of Albanian people go across to work there and then come back and there's a lot of chefs here that have learned and um, worked in Italy so they've come back and are able to make very good Italian food. So we've come to an Italian tonight, just got some pizza and some salad and fingers crossed it does the job. Ooh, this, good. And this is the pizza, yeah, it looks very nice. Mm. <laughs> proper, pizza. Proper pizza, pizza. Italian pizza. Mm. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lovely garlic. My mum doesn't really eat meat. Like, chicken and fish, a little bit, but no, no other meat. And for the Balkans, that's they usually have a lot of those types of meat. But we've actually been eating mostly vegetarian. Well, she has, I haven't so much, but we've been trying to eat uh, mostly vegetarian for the last week or so. And it's fairly easy. If you're thinking about coming to any of this area, like, there are lots of options. Like, this was like, you know, the salad was two pound that was like four pound so it's not that difficult to eat good vegetarian food and who found a little bar to watch the england game in look around it's all men and my mom. only woman <laughs> which is bizarre in this day and age in europe that i am the only woman in this bar <laughs> there's no women's toilets and all they serve is beer so i'm going with it i'm getting a beer <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in England. <laughs> I decided I'm going to continue filming each time I'm watching England because I'm going to be watching it until whenever we go out in the World Cup. Fingers crossed it's not today, but you guys will know. Pretty nervous. <laughs> Come on, England. Looking good. It's looking good. It's looking good. <laughs> All right, well, it's extra time. Only you guys know what happens next. Well, well, well. <laughs> England winning penalties. Yeah, I stopped filming because that was all getting too much. But um, yeah, wow. Through to the next round. Like I said before, I don't know where this is going. You do. But I'm going to keep filming anyway and see what happens. England through to the quarterfinals. All right, check out time. Time to leave. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take you out. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, I'm with the bags and we're waiting on the main square. And my mum's just ran off to try and get some last minute food because we haven't eaten this morning. Uh, we were just told that the bus should be leaving here at 10 to Budva, which is where we're going next, Montenegro. So fingers crossed, we're going to grab the bus from here, but you'll find out in the next video because I'm going to finish it here. In the end, this place was kind of just walking around and watching football for us, but that's how it goes. For now, thank you for watching, and this is my life.